Uh, Chidera's going to be fine. Uh, I think it's similar to what happened to uh, Devon. So I'm sure he's going to be sore. He's just a little bit of uh, tingling, I guess, so just precautionary. You know, you never want to uh, take a risk on something like that. I guess he just landed kind of funny on his neck, shoulder. So we just did that more as a precautionary. Was he always conscious? Or? Oh, yeah. He was conscious, talking. Had feeling and everything. So uh, we'll know more this afternoon. I'll uh, get Dave to put a release out or something since we're doing a walkthrough in the afternoon. I happened to be talking to Coach Tuias Sopo about him yesterday, and he said he's he been really. <laughs> <laughs> he said he's been really impressed with him. What's been your impression? He's been great because we put him inside some. He's uh, he does a great job of using his hands and getting push, and uh, getting on the edge. Uh, he's he's a guy you know I, I forget we didn't have a lot during the spring because he had that toe, so. Uh, it, uh, it was good seeing them out there. I, I feel good about our D-line depth as a whole. You know, I feel like at inside and outside, we, we have some guys that can spell each other because we're going to have to, you know, again with the schedule and again due to uh, the way we need to play, we're going to have to roll guys. You know, we're going to have to uh, get everybody that's uh, traveling and everybody that's up for the game in, involved on that side of the ball at the D-line position. John, which young guys? Sorry, which young guys in the D-line might get to play? Uh, Define Young. I, 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 you know, Nimbot and uh, Judah, I think, are the only ones we have, right? Mm -hmm. And I, So I would uh, expect both of them to be involved some. Travel guys. Yeah, yes. yeah, some some way, you know. Coach, was the, uh, the intensity a little bit closer to what you wanted today compared to yesterday? Yeah, it was. The intensity was what I wanted, what we need. Um, and I, I told Mike Bone this in the interview, and my guys can understand. I'm not a want, I'm not a, a need guy, or a want guy. I'm a need guy, and we need to practice at a certain level. We're not good enough to just roll our helmets out there. That's what we have to continue to understand that we can't let the standard dip because we're sore, tired, or whatever. We we have to go at a certain pace and a certain tempo, and and that's on us too as coaches. You know, we talked last night with the coaches and coaching staff. I said, we got to get it out of them. You know, it's, I know it's hard. I know it's a grind. I understand all that. But everybody else is in that same situation. And this is your opportunity to separate yourself and get ahead. And so that's why we have to practice in that, with that mindset and that mentality. Uh, you know, I got on Greg today. I, here's what I see from Greg. He's there every time. Now make the play. You know, Greg, uh, great feet, good hips, runs. He's right there with the guy, and now just don't let him catch the ball. So I think uh, Greg, if he, as he continues to grow and get some confidence, uh, a lot of these young guys feel like they have to be perfect. And that's, you know, it's like I talked to the, the kicker. I said, I don't expect you to make them all, so don't worry about it. You know, and that's why it's good he came back and made it after he missed. I went up to him after the miss and told him, hey, what did I tell you? Trust your technique, have fun, don't worry about it. And so he came back and made it through. That's great. That's all he needs to do. And the same with Greg and a couple other guys, Judah. I mean, they, a lot of these guys press because they feel like they have to be perfect or they have to, you know, uh, not, quote, let the team down or whatever it is. And just go play. Just trust your technique. Everything else will take care of itself. you got other guys out there that will have your back.